Hi, I'm Ben. Um, I'm the UK Marketing Manager for Sensio. Um, Sensio are a Norwegian-based health tech company um, who have been in the UK now um, throughout 2023, uh, working with care home partners to help reduce falls in care homes. Uh, so Sensio have been an organisation, they've been around for about 10 years, um, I say new to the UK um, and bringing products which have uh, already um, sort of been proven in the Nordic market, so Norway, Sweden, Denmark, um, over to the UK for the first time. And uh, the reason for this is there are falls um, technologies in the UK, um, but these are about taking them on to the next generation. So, so really important that um, products like Roommate um, are sort of put in front of care homes so they can see where uh, we can take falls detection uh, through to falls prevention. Falls detection is something care homes are, are very familiar with and, um, and all homes will have some form of sensors in place already. So that could be mats, it could be sensor beams, it could be audio systems and um, all are very good at highlighting uh, when a fall has happened, um, but they don't often uh, alert staff or they're not able to alert staff before the fall has happened. And obviously that's what we really want to be doing. And some of these systems can become falls risks themselves with trailing wires and elements which are on the floor where um, residents might naturally want to step. Uh, so what the roommate sensor does is take everything in the room and effectively put it on a wall. So the roommate sensor is a, um, uh, it's an infrared system. It's installed on a wall and the power um, and powered from a plug. And, uh, and what it will do is it will send out infrared um, uh, beams into the room to build up a 3D model of the room um, so that you get an anonymized digital image or digital picture um, that you can identify various objects throughout the room. So some of those objects will be um, beds, chairs, doorways, um, uh, toilets uh, and so on. Um, but of course others will be residents. And so this is about um, the sense of picking up where are the safe spaces in the room, um, where are the falls risks and what is the resident doing that might potentially lead to a fall. That then can trigger alerts and alarms to care workers um, so that before a fall event takes place, uh, they can be in place and supporting the resident. So what might that look like? That could be um, a resident who really needs support to get out of bed or maybe out of chair, um, rising up or getting up um, on their own um, because they want to move position or they want to go somewhere else. And so the system will then create an alert to say that that is happening. Now, not every resident is going to need the same set of alerts. Some are going to be at higher risk of falls than others. And so each sensor can be configured to the specific needs of the resident. So it's a very personalized, person-centered approach to falls prevention. And quite often we see that somebody who has come into a care home uh, for the first time, they, they might still be very independent. They might have had a fall at home, so it could be something which is um, absolutely a concern of theirs. It's something they're worried about. And so initially, a roommate sensor provides a bit of a safety blanket. It provides them some support and family members certainly feel um, really supported knowing that, that that care is there, ready for them. But it doesn't necessarily mean they need the full suite of alerts from day one. It's a journey and that, that sensor can um, become involved in that journey and, and make sure people are supported along that journey of care as well. What's really important when choosing a technology to support care in a home is that it's uh, something which comes in and absolutely enhances the way that care is delivered um, and changes and updates those processes accordingly. And so what the roommate does and the way that we implement roommate with care teams and we, we train it in is to look at where the places that uh, are, are hardest to maybe support residents. So a good example of that would be at night where at the moment a typical protocol would be to go around and, and knock on a door, enter the room and make sure that a resident is safe and well and not maybe they haven't got up and fallen and lying on the floor. So uh, one of the way in which the processes change uh, here is that you've now got the ability to do a digital supervision of that room. You don't have to go in, you don't have to wake a resident up. 
and so they get a full night's sleep. They get a much better um, experience of care within the home and they're much less likely to fall during the day because they're better rested. So there's definitely well-being um, um, connotations for, for the residents in, the, in a day-to-day -day way. It's not just about sort of supervising them. Um, but from a, from a, a staff member's um, um, capacity as well, it means that they can prioritise the care that they're delivering. So they know where they need to be and they're in the place where the most urgent care needs to be. So if a fall has happened, they know that that is a priority alert, that's a red alert, they need to go directly to that. Um, whereas another alert might come up um, um, as a yellow alert. So it's, it's visually very easy to be adopted by a care team. And that's a very important aspect of this because we put technology in people's hands. If they're not bought into the benefits that it's gonna bring, it doesn't get embraced. And, um, and the way for this to really work for residents is for it to work for the care workers as well. Uh, so that's been a huge part of the, the, the roommate sensor itself. It's not just a sensor, actually it's a way that we support homes to make changes to their care processes. We've had a really positive experience rolling out to homes in the UK so far and uh, we're looking forward to over the next uh, months and over the next years to really working with our clients in, 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 in more homes, in further homes and across their groups. We're also talking to new partners as well.